convince some candidates, Democratic candidates, uh, and for the, for the House and Senate, which must change, on the importance also of the nuclear emergency. Uh, and by the way, the op-ed criticized her for calling it an emergency. That's rhetoric, extremism, and so forth. And it, 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 incredible. But all, all, all too credible now. Okay, there is, we're still living with the possibility of extinguishing most human life and all the life of other species that are larger than, let's say, a squirrel and smaller than us. They can't adapt the way they do. They go entirely, even if uh, humans don't. So uh, I am happy to see, uh, to be not the only, the senior person, most member of this crowd uh, at 88. Actually, how many are older than me right here? Okay, very good. How many are older than 80? Okay, and, and how many were uh, in some of these protests back in the 80s? Very good. Okay, I am here to give you your Lifetime Achievement Awards. <laughs> we're, we watched the Oscars, Patricia and I know. We're the Lifetime Achievement Center. And uh, fine. So we're on the right track, but there has to be a lot more people. I will suggest, oh, one other thing, given what I've said. This warhead was originally de developed for the MX to be one of 10 on a single missile. Now we have 400 ICBMs that should not exist. They should be cut. They are developing new replacements for them, the ground-based strategic determinant. Why? for one reason only, and that is that Boeing and Lockheed make a profit building those weapons and uh, have always done so, and there is no other rationale you can possibly find for them. How about the W87-1? We already have a W87 weapons that does the same thing. I just read the W87, its only unique advantage, which is being uh, budgeted now, is so we can put three of them back on each MIRV missile and thus double or triple the number of warheads that will be vulnerable to attack, that can go over and so forth. That's the program. And this program was started, well, it really got underway heavily just this last year. What we want to do then, what I want to do is this. What's happened a lot before in the Vietnam War and in the nuclear arms race, and I stand before you here as somebody who participated in two moral catastrophes, the Vietnam War and the nuclear arms race. And then I kind of crossed the line and joined the people who were protesting those, and that's been a long time since. Without other people who were going to prison, going to jail, I don't think that the rallies themselves on nice Saturday mornings, or even on a nice morning like this, uh, would have persuaded me that it was worth sacrificing or giving my career, my life in prison, my job, my e everything else. But those people put it in my head. So I know it's a useful action, civil disobedience, as Greta Thunberg is doing, and as Extinction Rebellion in London is doing. And Greta, by the way, is going to be here next month. She won't fly because of the fossil fuels. Uh, so what can she do? And they got a racing boat uh, which uses solar panels, no fossil fuel. And, uh, it, there's only a couple of them in the world, and she's coming over. Uh, she's flying. She's coming. She's coming over on this boat in a couple of weeks, and will be all over the uh, South America here as well. And take miss no opportunity to see her. So that is a form of civil disobedience. Doesn't do it by itself, unless it is part of a program to transform the Senate. And I mean not only from the Republicans, but from the past Democrats and the House and the White House, we do have a chance, as she points out. I believe that on a weekday like this, with Livermore building 20 W87-1 weapons, which have a yield potential of 475 kilotons, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, you heard a lot about today, were together 35 kilotons. 475 in one warhead is 10 times Hiroshima and Nagasaki in one warhead. And they want to build hundreds to thousands of them. That should not be happening. The people in that death factory 
are producing weapons, each one of which is a portable Auschwitz. And they should not be doing that. And I am here today, but next year, if I'm not in Hiroshima, which is possible, but next year I will be here, but not at a gate that is closed for us for a mock arrest. I will find where the workers are getting into that plant and try to disturb business as usual. Because it has been true for many years, nuclear weapons must not be made in this country without having to arrest Americans to do it. And we'll, have to, we'll be telling them, I'm sure a lot of them will be telling them, over our bodies. And they're willing to do that, but that gets some attention, and who knows, with all the other work combined with it, uh, we may save this planet. Thank you.